The 9K35 Stla 10 is a highly mobile, visually aimed, optical infrared guided, low altitude, short range surface to air missile system. 9K35 is its GRAU designation. Its NATO reporting name is SA 13 Gopher. Ramsheer M9 S737 Tho is a mobile command center for a mixed grouping of air defense forces, such as TOR, Tunguska, Stlauten, and Igala. Development The 9K35 is the successor of the 9K31 Stlad 1 and can also use the Stlad 1's missiles in place of the 9M37. Development of the 9K37 Stlauten SV system was initiated July 24, 1969. The decision to begin the development of a new non-all-weather system was taken despite the simultaneous development of an all-weather hybrid gun missile system 9K22 Tunguska Mani as an economical measure. It was also seen as advantageous to have a system capable of fast reaction times and immunity to heavy radio frequency jamming. Rather than being mounted on an amphibious but lightly armored BRDM chassis like the SA-9, the SA-13 is mounted on a more mobile tract modified MTLB, with more room for equipment and missile reloads. Provision for amphibious capability is provided in some variants in the form of polyurethane-filled floats. The Stlauten SV system and its 9M37 missile were tested in Duong range from 1973 to 1974, but the results were disappointing, the system was found efficient in terms of missile probability of kill, vehicle reliability, among other things. Acceptance to service was thus delayed until May 16, 1976, by which time improvements had been introduced to the system. Development of the system continued throughout the years through Stlout M, minus 10 M2 and minus 10 M3 variants introducing among other things improved radio communications and provision for better integration to the Soviet Integrated Air Defense System Air Picture Data. Also improved missiles have been developed and by September 2007 the 9K35 M3K Colchon variant, mounted on a BTR-60 wheeled chassis, was displayed for the first time at the Moscow Air Show MAKS 2007. Description, Associated Systems and Vehicles, the 9K35 is a SAM system with electro-optical guidance. It is the capability to use radars for target acquisition and range. Some vehicles have a pintle mounted PKT 7.62 or a machine gun in front of the Ford hatch for local protection. Other vehicles have been seen with additional support railings for the system on the rear deck. The following is a list of associated equipment 9A34M2, 9A34M3K, launcher vehicle with 9S86 snapshot range only radar located between the two pairs of missile canisters on a transporter erector launcher and radar. 9A35M2, 9A35M3K, launcher vehicle with 9S16 passive radar detection system that gives a 360 a degree azimuth and minimum 40 a degree elevation coverage, 9 Fahrenheit 624 on 9 Fahrenheit 624M training simulator, 9S482M7 control post, 9U111, a 1950 kg trailer mounted 12 a kilowatt generator unit, Designed to feed power to up to four 9A35M2, 9A35M3K or 9A34M2, 9A34M3K launcher vehicles at a distance of up to 30M by cable while conducting maintenance or training operations. 9V839M, system checkout vehicle, 9V915M, 9V915M1, technical maintenance vehicle. MTLB U Dog Ear FG Band Target Acquisition Radar, Missiles, the Stlauten system was originally designed to use the 9M37 missile as its primary weapon, but its launch system was designed to be also backwards compatible with the 9M31M missile of the earlier 9K31 Stlad 1 system. Each 9M37 missile is 2.2 am long, weighs 40 kg and carries a 3.5 akg warhead. The maximum speed of the missile is near Mach 2, engagement range is from 500, 800 to 5000 m and engagement altitude is between 10 and 3500 m. Four missiles are mounted on the turret and boxes, ready to launch, and eight more are carried inside the vehicle as reloads. Reloading takes around three minutes. 
the 9M37 was quickly replaced with a slightly improved 9M37M, and later the more significantly upgraded 9M333, which introduced, heavier warhead of improved expanding rod design and larger HE content, new proximity fusing with 8-ray laser to improve probability of fusing on near misses of very small targets such as cruise missiles or UAVs, triple channel guidance system for more robust countermeasure rejection, improved engine to provide similar performance despite the slight increase in missile length and weight. All missiles are Euro 9M31M, 9M37, 9M37M and 9M333 a Euro are equipped with optical homing heads utilizing reticle-based photocontrast and or infrared homing. 9M333 is said to have particularly good countermeasures resistance due to its triple-channel homing head while the photocontrast channel of 9M37-9M37M is described as backup method to the IR channel. All main variants are Euro Schlatten SV, Schlatten M, Schlatten M2 and Schlatten M3 a Euro can use all aforementioned missile types. The main characteristics of the missiles are listed in the table below, based on source number, unless otherwise noted. For comparison purposes data for nearest western equivalent, the somewhat larger and heavier MIM-72 Chaparral, is also provided. Contract for production of MIM-72G by retrofitting new components was awarded in late 1982, with all missile and U.S. service upgraded by the late 1980s. New production of MIM-72G missiles started in 1990. As the photocontrast channel provides effective head-on engagement ability, Firing range against an approaching target can be considerably longer than the maximum ranges listed above, likewise maximum firing range would be considerably less than the maximum range of target destruction against a receding target. Definition of range and effective ceiling for MIM-72 is unknown and the figures are therefore not directly comparable. Combat Use, Angolan War, on February 20, 1988 31-year-old Major Edward Richard Every from 1st Squadron, SAAF was killed in action when his Mirage F-1AZ, was shot down by a SA-13 Gopher SRFACE to air missile in Kyoto while on an operational attack over southern Angola. The aircraft crashed in flames and disintegrated on impact. Operation Desert Storm, Iraq had several operational Schlatten systems in the beginning of the 1991 operation to liberate Kuwait from Iraqi occupation, most if not all of which were organized as part of the battlefield air defense systems of the Republican Guard divisions. During the operation, a total of 27 coalition aircraft are believed to have been hit by Iraqi IR homing SAMs, resulting in a total of 14 aircraft losses. Some of the aircraft losses were shot down on the spot, while others, such as the OA-10A-77-0197, managed to return to base only to be lost on a crashed landing. Others still landed safely but were since written off as total losses. At least two of the losses are believed to have been due to Schlatten hits, on February 15 an A-10A Warthog 78-0722 of 353rd TFS-354th TFW was hit by a SAM believed to be Schlatten some 60 miles northwest of Kuwait City while attacking Republican Guard targets. Pilot Lieutenant James Sweet ejected and was made a prisoner of war. While attempting to protect Sweet on the ground, his wingman Stephen Phyllis flying A-10A-79-0130 was also hit by what is believed to have been a missile from a Schlatten. Phyllis was killed in the incident. Kosovo, 1, possibly 2 A-10A Thunderbolt 2 aircraft are believed to have been hit by Serbian Schlatten SAMs. Both aircraft landed safely and were repaired and returned to service. Gallery, Operators, Afghanistan, Angola, and Armenia. 72, and Azerbaijan, a Belarus, 350 SA-8, SA-11, SA-12 and SA-13. A Bulgaria, 20, a Croatia, 10, a Cuba, 42, a Czech Republic, a Georgia, a Hungary, a India, a Jordan, a Lebanon, a Libya, a Macedonia, 21 launchers, a Mongolia, a North Korea, a Russia, 350. In production missile 9M333, a Serbia, 18, upgraded, a local production 9M37M missile, a Syria, 
a Ukraine, 150, a Vietnam, 200, former operators, a Czechoslovakia, passed on successor states, a Poland, 4, probably withdrawn in 2001 to 2002, a Slovakia, withdrawn from service, a Soviet Union, passed on successor states, a Yugoslavia, passed on successor states, references. External links, Federation of American Scientists page, azronautics.com, training launch video.